Water. Beyond its basic necessity for survival, water has a measurable value that resonates through various dimensions of our existence. From shaping civilizations to sustaining entire ecosystems, water has profound worth in our world. Trade it! But which fast food restaurant has the best water? In this video, that's what I'm gonna be figuring out. So I decided to go to the top 10 most popular fast food restaurants in the country. I'm gonna rank each of their waters based off of the form factor, the taste of the water, and finally, the taste and form factor of their ice. The first restaurant I decided to visit was Chipotle. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest Chipotle fan in the world, but if I'm ever craving something more healthy, Chipotle is always my go-to. Whoa. I'm actually just gonna get a water cup if that's all right. I appreciate it. Once I got my Chipotle water, I actually ran into a little bit of a problem. You see, filming videos on your own can get pretty difficult sometimes, especially when it comes to trying to find a place to set up and film your video. But luckily, while trying to find a place to film myself drinking Chipotle water, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Someone who might be able to help me out. Yo. Yo. You think you'd be willing to take a video of me? Hmm? You think you'd be willing to take a video of me? Help me out? With Just real quick for a video. Yo. I'm an influencer. I'm, I'm making a video about water yeah okay yeah yeah sure. sweet thank you so much well guys we're trying the chipotle water but the first thing we're gonna do is rank the presentation of the drink so they got a little h2o logo here it's kind of sick overall i'm gonna give it a six out of ten it's just a cup with water in it now we're gonna give it a taste test it definitely has a clear flavor to it it doesn't like stand out i would give the water a six out of 10 as well. Last thing we're gonna rank is the ice cubes themselves. It really fits your tongue well with the curve. I really like the Chipotle ice for the pure sucking experience. Um, I give it a nine out of 10 on that. So overall, we got a six for presentation, a six for flavor, and a nine out of 10 for ice for Chipotle water. Okay, oh yeah, are we good? Yeah, all right. Um, I'm gonna go on my way. But dude, uh, aren't you gonna help me out with the, I'm ranking 10 places. Like we're going ten. to 10 places to get water. We're, we're doing 10 of these? Yeah, you're coming along, right? I asked you to I, film, you said you would. I... The next restaurant on my list was Panera Bread. Personally, I'm not a big Panera Bread fan at all because it's just so bougie and expensive, but who knows, maybe their water will change my mind. Here at Panera Breads, and we have their water today. Now, first off, presentation I'm giving this a solid 8 out of 10. I think plastic cups just beat paper cups. Like, I, whenever I have a paper cup, I notice it literally like deforming in my hands. But the plastic cups, they hit different. Now, we're gonna give a little taste test. Wow, I'm gonna have to go with a 7 out of 10 on the water. Definitely beats out Chipotle. There's a little, a little more flavorful. Now we're gonna check the ice. It's very similar to the Chipotle ice. Mm. Mm. Hey, sorry, guys. I'm gonna give it the seven, seven out of 10 on the ice. It doesn't hit the same as the Chipotle ice in my opinion. After Panera Bread, the next restaurant on my list was Burger King. Now, I don't actually eat a lot of Burger King, but when I do, I always get the onion rings and the zesty sauce. And I think especially the zesty sauce at Burger King is underrated. So if you're ever eating Burger King, make sure to get yourself some zesty sauce. Finally got Burger King water. Now, again, very similar to the Panera in terms of form factor for the presentation. Red straw, I like how it matches the little stripe here. We're still gonna give it an eight out of 10. Let's next, we're gonna move on to the, the flavor. There's a tiny bit of bitterness in the Burger King water. So flavor, I'm gonna have to go with a six. Sorry, Burger King, that kind of sucks. Finally, we're gonna go back to get to the ice again. Now this ice I call, uh, whatever that is. We're gonna give it a try. It tastes like ice. I'm gonna have to give the ice a five out of 10. The ice was not hitting as well. After Burger King, I started to feel a bit different. And no, it wasn't because I was drinking so much water and it was in my stomach. It was for actually a completely different reason entirely. Something more personal. How are we feeling? I've wasted so many cups. I'm feeling okay. Like, I feel great. The water has been tasting great. I usually use my water bottle. It's just different for me, you know? 
just different. Despite my moral dilemma, I decided to keep pushing through. The next restaurant I visited was Dunkin' Donuts. Now, I've never actually had Dunkin' Donuts, but let's see if their water turns me into a fan. We got the Dunkin' water. Their cup is humongous and it's plastic. It a nine out of 10 for that. We're gonna open up the straw, put it in here, take a little sip of the water because you know, that's what I love doing. Wow. That is the middest water I've ever tasted. The water sucks. Four out of 10 on the water. Finally, the ice test. Look at the tiny little pieces of ice. They're all chipped up. It tastes like ice though. I'm gonna have to give the ice like a four out of 10 as well. I'm sorry, Dunkin' Donuts, but your water's kind of mid. I'm sorry, it's, it doesn't hit. After Dunkin' Donuts, I headed over to Subway, the next restaurant on my list. Now, usually at Subway, I get myself a steak and cheese sandwich, but today, as you guys probably know, I'm just gonna be getting a water. Look at this, form factor, no lid, so basic. Two out of 10 on the form factor. Taste, we're gonna give it a try. Six out of 10, it's okay. It tastes like water. But now we're gonna move on to the ice. That's a big ice cube. Wow. I give the ice an eight out of 10. It was kind of fun to suck on that ice. After Subway, the next restaurant I visited was Chick-fil-A. Now I know that Chick-fil-A is shrouded in controversy, but I'm gonna be honest, dude, their, their Chick-fil-A sauce is so good. And let's just hope that their water hits the same. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. So kind. So a form factor, you know, it's classic, it's Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Taste, let's give it a quick taste test. The most basic water, there's no flavor. There's no flavor at all. Five out of 10 on the water flavor. There's the, I don't know, the flavor wasn't there for me. And finally, we're gonna check the ice. Look at that, they got little nubbles, little pellets. Interesting. The sucking experience, it's very rough. Interesting. You know what? Solid seven out of 10. It's unique, doesn't blow me away. But it's unique. After I tried the Chick-fil-A water, I once again felt a disturbance within myself. And this feeling kept making filming this video more and more difficult. I don't, I, I don't know how to feel anymore. Like six cups, I've, I'm the problem. No, I, I, I don't know if you are 100% of the problem. Oh my gosh, but dude. I don't know if I can do this anymore. We've come this far, and I think the people need to know. Yeah, you're right. What, uh... This is, a, this is my obligation to humanity. Yeah. The next restaurant I visited was Taco Bell. Hello. I would like a cup of water, please. That is it. Now, Taco Bell is one of my all-time favorites. I love so much of the stuff they have on their menu, especially their Cinnabon Delights. Recently, their strawberry and cream freezy has been blowing my mind. And they have the cheapest value menu out there. But how does their water stack up to the rest of their menu? 192. For what? Was it you on the mic? Yeah. Uh, Dude, it's for you. That's hilarious. Me? You're hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, it. <laughs> take it easy. I just gave a dude a dollar. I changed the world. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally like, holy crap. I get why Mr. Beast does this now. Form factor, eight out of 10. It's a nice little plastic thing. We're gonna give it a quick taste test. There's a little bit of tang at the end. Outside of that, nothing crazy. Six out of 10 for the water flavor. Now to do the ice. Look at that, with a little hole in it. Yeah, we've had this ice before. Kind of mid. Six out of 10 on the ice. That is Taco Bell, guys. Taco Bell water. The next restaurant I decided to visit was Wendy's. Now I actually have a soft spot for Wendy's. There was one summer where I'd bike there every day and get a four for four, but nothing could prepare me for what happened when I decided to order a water. Well, I'll get a Wendy's, what can we get for you? Hello, could I get a water please? Fountain water? Is it okay to get a water? Did you need to order something? No, I was just gonna get a cup of water. Is that all right? Pull up to the window, okay? Thank you. Whoa. This is kind of scary. Hello. Yeah, is it, is it possible to get a cup of water? Yeah. Ice water? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. Have a great day. Have a good day. Cup of water from Wendy's. It is very small. It is in a plastic cup. We're gonna have to give it a six. I'm sorry, Wendy's. Taste, whoa. I would give it a seven. Seven on the taste. It's very good flavor on the Wendy's water. Highly recommend you some Wendy's water. Give it a quick ice test. Whoa, it's one of these guys. Optimal sucking form. 
Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten on the ice. Wendy's water, not half bad. I think just the size kind of throws me off, but yeah. Even though I got the water at Wendy's and I was able to review it, after the interaction, my moral compass just started to go haywire. I just wanted to know why that worker was just so upset with me. I think she knew. I think she knew how many cups I've been wasting. How, how would you have known? I don't know. Do you think she... Ah, I, was I gonna think she had clairvoyance. I'm broken. I'm broken inside. Like, these cups are revealing the, the deeper truth, you know? The next restaurant I decided to visit was McDonald's. I'm actually a pretty big McDonald's fan. I really love the McChicken and their cookies, but let's see if their water stacks up at all. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. You're a great person. Okay, I feel a little bit better after that. That was a good interaction. We're gonna try the McDonald's water. Form factor, plastic cup, nice, still a straw kind of mid. Uh, 8 out of 10 of the four factors, similar to the other plastic cups. We're going to give it a quick taste. Hmm. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. There's a little bit of tanginess in it. Next, we're going to move on to the ice. See what the sucking experience is like with this. Wow. They have a very unique ice at McDonald's. Look at that. It's like really chipped. There's a hollow part there. Wow. I think McDonald's had the best sucking experience so far. I'm going to have to give McDonald's ice a 10. McDonald's ice is a 10 out of 10, guys. After McDonald's, it was time for our final restaurant, Starbucks. And once I drank the Starbucks water, my moral obligation to figure out which fast food restaurant is the best water would finally be complete. Hello? Hello? What's up? What's up? Are they closed? Dude, they're closed. Dude. This is karma, bro. Everything's falling apart. It's the cups, dude. It's the cups. They're you, coming after mean, me. What do you mean it's the cups? Dude, the cups, everything's about the littering. Like, I'm just ru ruining everything. Man, it's not that serious. They just closed. It's, dude. This is bad video, planning. I can't finish the video anymore. Like, I didn't have it the video. But still, it's like, you still did nine, nine different dude, it's water not the reviews. Same anymore. You Nobody can't, understands me, okay? You can't be acting under this now. Listen, I'm not. Look, like, look, I, look, look, look. Hold, hold on, hold on. You, you, dragged, you dragged me. You dragged me dude. out here so I could film you. And I was here for nine cups, and all of a sudden the whole day's ruined? The whole day's a waste? Dude, I, I didn't even need you. I thought you were just looking lonely over at the Chipotle. Dude. I was sitting and enjoying my chips just fine. Now you're gonna switch up on me like this? No, 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 no. You don't talk anymore. You, you you're to, pathetic, I'm okay? You this whole thing is pathetic, Dude, okay? This, this I'm not gonna sit here done. and film you having a pity We're party. Done. What are you doing? Hey, 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 uh -uh. We're done. Okay, look, look at, look, look at what you've done back here. Look at, look at what you've done. Starbucks being closed was a huge blow. How was I ever gonna complete this video? How was I ever gonna know which fast food restaurant has the best water? How was it gonna happen? Well, the only thing I could do is go to sleep and try to figure it out the next day. Once I woke up, I knew what I needed to do. I knew what I needed to do to complete my obligation to humanity. Alrighty, everybody, we got my final water here. So form factor, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Look how much water they have. Look at the little sippy lid, no straw needed. 10 out of 10 in the form factor. Amazing cup here for water, Starbucks. Wow. Next, we're gonna give it a quick taste. Holy crap, wow. That water tastes amazing. 10 out of 10 in the water tastes like the best water you could possibly get at a fast food restaurant, I guess. That's what I figured out. Finally, for the ice test, three little pieces all stuck together. What? Let's give it a quick suck. The ice had a really unique texture on your tongue. The ice, honestly, we'll give it an eight out of 10. The ice, 
was fine. Taste and form factor, easily the best of all the restaurants we went to. What a great water. I didn't know Starbucks had such great water. After trying the water at the top 10 fast food restaurants in the country, here's my final ranking for which fast food restaurant has the best water. At number 10, I have Subway. At number nine, I have Dunkin' Donuts. At number eight, I have Burger King. At number seven, I have Chick-fil-A. At number six, I have Taco Bell. At number five, I have Chipotle. At number four, I have Wendy's. At number three, I have Panera Bread. At number two, we have McDonald's. And finally, at number one, we have Starbucks. So after trying all the water, I learned that Starbucks has the best water of all the fast food restaurants. So hey, if you're ever needing some water, hit up Starbucks because they have the best water. Now that I know which fast food restaurant has the best water, I need to do one final thing to make everything from yesterday better. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. I just wanted to, like, I guess, apologize for what happened the other day at Starbucks. Yeah. Do you remember that? I actually got you a gift. Here you go. This is the best water. Starbucks, like, they let you cu customize your drinks, you know? So I got the best water I could for you to try. Do you like it? Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. That's awesome. Maybe the best water we have. <laughs> you know what? Starbucks does have the best water. What can I say? Well, dude, I'm glad, I'm glad we're on good terms. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that if you enjoyed, you'd consider subscribing or following me on my other socials in the description. Otherwise, take it easy. Have a great rest of your day. You know, enjoy yourself. Hang out with your family. Hang out with your friends. Do something interesting. I don't know. Take care of yourself, all right? You're cool. You're a cool person. You deserve it. Do that thing. Take it easy now, dude. Take it easy. Peace.